这是你妈妈。Hello， 爸爸。Hi， Hi， Hi， How are you? Good. How are you? I'm Tiffany. Adam Harris, and we live in San Antonio, and we have three biological kids, and adopted Nate about 14 months ago. Well, I would definitely say the most vivid memory is the day that we got him.、Uh, you've been anticipating that so much, and just prepared for that, and that day finally comes. So that gate opening, and us driving in, and us seeing him, and just like, oh my gosh, like. There he is. He's not on a computer screen anymore. He's not in a newsletter. He's like right there. That was. Mother, mother. Wow. I've never felt so many different emotions in my life as I have this last year. Probably what you think are going to be the challenges are not the challenges、sure. that you're going to face. Language was not an issue at all. I mean, he picked it up so fast and is still picking it up. And his blindness is not an issue at all. He's been blind all of his life, so. He knows how to function. I mean, there's still things like Braille that we're really working on, where we've got a lot of growing to do. But just as far as functioning, he's fantastic. It's the details underneath that can be the biggest challenge, which a lot of times are our issues, not so much his issue. It was just realizing he's not a problem to be fixed. And as much as we tried to not have any expectations, you know, or when you're When you're in the thick of it and the reality of it, it, it's different than when you're just reading about them and, you know, they're still just on the computer screen. And when it translates into your real life, and you realize, you know, there, there's some more intellectual delays than you had expected, and different things, you just, you know, kind of throws you for it's thrown me for a curveball a little bit. And I think that's probably been the most challenging. Can you tell Nate what your home name is? Ah, Nate Hudson Funchal Harris. Nate Hudson Fang Tao Harris. Yeah. All the hard work we're doing is because he didn't have a family for 13 years. It's not because he's blind. There's hard moments where we're trying to understand each other or we're learning more about each other, and it's tough because you know he's had a whole other life before us. And I think that's sometimes we forget that. Getting past all those hard moments, just to have a relationship with him, it's so worth it. You know, it's just, what does this year hold? You know, we're kind of sitting there going, what is next for Nate? But it's just today and tomorrow, and then the next day. There's been a lot of challenges, but I'd say the joys far outweigh the challenges. We're still trying to wrap our heads around. How can we best help him and serve him for just the person that he is and the person that he will be? But it's been so much joy for our whole family.